morning's House proceedings didn't sit well with the opposition Free National Movement. Five of the six opposition caucus members are literally fuming at the government for what they claim silencing the voice of the people. Here's Alta V. Smunnings. During parliamentary debate on the boat registration and water skiing and motor boat control amendment acts Wednesday, government business leader the Honorable Wayne Monroe underscored government's ultimate intention to reduce current boat registration fees. And he claims the opposition wishes it to stay in place. Well, those comments weren't accepted by the opposition as they wanted to have their say on the matter too. We're not going to allow the government to silence the Bahamian people to the members on this side that have not spoken. An appeal was even made to the House Speaker to intervene. This is not open to debate. This is the rule that governs each and every one of us. Matters not open to debate. The opposition members then stood and voiced their concerns for the remainder of the House proceedings. And that even included the passing of the Boat Registration and Water Skiing and Motor Boat Control Amendment Acts 2024. Once the House adjourned, FNM leader Michael Pintard held a press conference outside of the House of Assembly and inside the parliamentary chambers to basically indicate that if they're not allowed to speak, the government won't be allowed to either. What they did is undemocratic. We've seen shades of it before, but they are getting significantly worse. I communicated and made it clear that all of our members intended to speak for their full length of time. And that is what we came into the House today with the understanding of. These fishes, these boaters from the communities that, that I am from, that's their way of survival. That's how they feed their families. That's how they support the local restaurants. Easter's coming up. Everybody wants to wear snappers in the goggle eye. What are we trying to do? Create criminals where they, ha they have to go out now. They cannot afford to register their boats, but they have to catch fish. What they shut down today was the voice of the people. Absolutely. And they attacked the voice of the people. While the House government business leader responded to the opposition's comments at the Office of the Prime Minister's weekly press briefing Wednesday afternoon. We notified them that we would give them equal time with us, even though they are seven and we are 32. They insist on having their own way. The rules of the House do not um, support that. And as such, in the time indicated, we move to question. The leader of the opposition chose not to speak first or second. His deputy leader chose not to speak first or second. And they chose to spend the majority of their time speaking about things other than the two bills we were debating. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Altavis Munnings. Hello, everyone. I'm Fern Carey. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things said and asked.